Hey everyone, I'm here today to take a look at the G4 Free Sling Bag, which is available on Amazon for £20, and it's basically a cheaper alternative to some more well-known brands, which I'll go into in a minute. Now I'm sure some of you will recognise this design. It's based on the Maxpedition Jumbo Versa pack. Uh, Vanquest also did the Mobius V Packer. Both almost the same, very nigh on identical bags. And this is much the same, it's the same basic design. But this is made of cheaper materials, that's why it's only £20, whereas the Vanquest and the Maxpedition packs are about £100 each. So a big difference. On the front you've got a big clip here, and I say all these clips feel pretty thick and solid. They're not made of cheap plastic, so I don't feel like they're going to break anytime soon. But you've got this main compartment here opens up, and you pull that back. You've got a large compartment here with a drawstring at the top, so that helps to secure your items in there. Inside it's got a waterproof material which I'll show you a close up in a minute and you can fit various things in there It's quite you could fit a good two liters in there a two liter water canteen will fit in there Then on the front you've got a Pouch at the, there that just slides things in doesn't close up. So it's not all that secure Then when you've got that clipped closed that does hold the front pocket there so it's not zipped up closed, but secure enough. But you don't want to put anything particularly important in there. I just put tissues in. Got a zip up pouch at the front here, which has another slip pouch there, as well as a clip. So if you want to put your keys or something on there and not have to worry about them falling out, if you accidentally leave this unzipped or it comes unzipped, you can clip them on there. You can see the zippers are all very easy to grab because they've got a bit of cord on. So, and there's two zippers on most of the pouches as well, so you can zip up from either side. On the side here, you've got another slip pouch there, as well as a zip up one, smaller one there, and another little slip pouch inside. So, there's a lot of different pockets here. Most of them zip up, and then you know, ones like this that don't to put uh, less important items in, but a lot of storage space. There's also as you go up to where the strap is, another pocket here, which I had hoped to put a multi-tool in, but it doesn't quite fit the way I would like. My multi-tool is a pretty standard size multi-tool, and even though it does fit in there, and you can clip it closed, it kind of sticks out a bit at the top there, and the top flap of the pouch doesn't fold completely down because it's just too small basically so you've got the clip sticking upright and it kind of sticks out like that which i don't like because that could easily catch on things it just seems generally a bit awkward and clumsy so i probably won't be using that for my multi-tool unfortunately but that seems to be what that pocket's designed for maybe if you've got a smaller one or a swiss army knife that would fit in there better and then each side of here you've got some little loops that uh, I guess you could put a pen in there if, if the pen has a clip to hold on to it. I don't really have much use for these though, but like I say, you could fit a few pens through there that have clips to hold on as there's nothing at the bottom to secure anything in these hoops. On the top of the flap here for the main compartment, there's another pouch, which I have got my multi tool in. That's kind of the perfect size for what I would consider a standard multi-tool. Maybe a bit more secure than the other pocket. You can see there's lots of molly straps here as well. And there's some going up there um, where the strap that goes over your shoulder is. On the side of the pack there's a few there. So you can add things to this as well with the molly system. There's a section here to put Velcro badges off if you want. It also comes with a hoop that sticks on there with Velcro. I didn't really have much use for it. I forgot to bring it out with me actually. It's just to kind of, it sticks across there and then there's a hoop coming out the front of it. I'll probably just film a few seconds of that at home to add onto this video to show you, but I didn't really see much point in it. So that's why I've taken it off. But if you've got any Velcro badges you want to put on there to customize the bag, you can.
and then here there's another compartment going into that front flap and that's got the waterproof sort of material in as well. A lot of this has waterproof material on the inside if you can see it there and this is yet another compartment and there's some more velcro patch areas inside there too but that's all this kind of waterproof material so I wouldn't necessarily waterproof but water resistant let's say and the, the zips are pretty solid they're quite thick strong feeling zips you know sometimes when you buy cheaper bags the zips are crap you know they feel like they're going to come apart and it's, the, the zips going to come unthreaded or whatever but these feel very thick and secure to me at least I've had, only had this a week so I haven't been able to test it out for months or years but at the minute it all feels very thick and secure though obviously not as thick as the Maxpedition pack. I'm sure that's made of far better material than this. And then on the side here, there's a pouch for a water bottle. This is just a three quarters of a litre bottle that I've got in there to demonstrate the drawstring. Now this is where there's a noticeable difference between this and the Maxpedition pack, because on the Maxpedition pack, this pouch is a solid material like the rest of the bag. It's not netted the way it is on here. So that's a bit cheaper and no doubt a bit weaker as well. That it's just netting there. I think you can see the bottle just goes in, use the drawstring to tighten it up and that fits pretty securely in there with the drawstring, not to the point that I feel it's going to fall out at least anyway. Now if we go into the main compartment there's a netting bit at the back there, you can slide things in and at the bottom of the bag it's a bit dark to see but there is a hole for liquid to drip out of if you have any spillages in there or if you get caught in the rain water gets in there there is a little hole at the bottom just for drainage and most of the inside here has the water resistant kind of rubbery material same kind of material that uh, you know kind of a waterproof jacket would be made of reasonably thick plasticky to give you a bit of protection from rain and sort of gentle water like that you know you can't drop this in the river and expect everything in there to be dry but it would be resistant to rain basically and general dampness if you're walking or out camping so another look at those molly straps on the shoulder strap there now on the shoulder strap there's an adjustable pad here to give you comfort in just that wherever you want to uh, depending on how it's going to fit on your shoulder there's a clip up here that i never actually have any use for it just slides over your head so you don't really need to use this very much anyway but there is a clip there and then there's some padding on the inside where it's against your body and see a three padding patches there to give you some extra comfort it hasn't felt uncomfortable to me at all wearing it and I've used it quite a bit this week really walking and cycling the one thing that's really handy on this is this velcro loop here and that's so that you can attach this to your belt that's around your waist to make it more secure against your body. And if you're running or cycling, that's really handy because otherwise it can slide around a bit on your body or it can kind of bang against you a bit. It just feels more secure and less like it's going to slide around and get in the way or knock on things if you can have that attached to your belt as well as the strap around your shoulder. I actually bought this for YouTube because when I'm packing up to come out on a camping trip, all my camping gear fits perfectly in my rucksack. I've got quite a big, you know, sort of Army Bergen rucksack, but it's always the camera, which is the last thing to put in there because I need to get out first, but it just never fits properly and it always feels like I'm jamming it in there and I don't want to damage the camera. So I thought getting a pack like this I could just wear on my side would be quite handy, but there's so many pockets in it that I'm going to put spare batteries, spare memory cards, some of my smaller items rather than having them in the rucksack as well so they're easier to get to. And just for a day trip, I wear this uh, if I'm out on a long hike with the dogs, sometimes on a cycling trip so far, even though I've only had it a week, I've been using this quite a lot. It's a really handy day pack for when you're out. You can fit a pack lunch and a bottle of water and things like that in there. At the minute I've got a tennis ball and some doggy treats in there for the dogs. So really nice pack for the sake of £20 as well. Now how long it's going to last I can't tell you but it doesn't feel too cheap. I've had cheap rucksacks before and you can feel that the material it's made of is gonna to start to fray and come apart because it's that cheap sort of material and the straps don't feel very secure. But this feels pretty thick and pretty hardy 
and especially because it's got that rubbery inner material to give it the water resistance that uh, helps to give it a more solid feel too all the clips feel nice and strong as well and like they're made of decent durable plastic not the cheaper plastic that's going to snap after you've used it for six months or a year or whatever so I'm pretty impressed with this and compared to the other packs that are £100 plus though I imagine they would last forever I've never actually handled one of those Max Edition packs but I've seen them seen other videos of them they look like the sort of pack that's going to last you a lifetime this probably not depending on how much hardware you're going to put it through but I think it would last a decent amount of time for the sake of £20. So, you know, £100 but a lifetime's use might actually be better value than £20 for a few years' use. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to seeing how long this lasts me, basically. Now, it's more designed to wear on your right-hand side, but I have worn it over my left and... It was just as comfortable. I didn't have a problem with that. So really, you could wear it either side. I don't think it's going to be a problem. When I wear it over my left side, I find it's more comfortable to have it more round to the back like that. Whereas when I have it on my right hand side, it sort of rests more comfortably on my side. But in some ways, I actually prefer having it around the back rather than on my side. But this would also make a pretty good survival pack if you wanted you know a 24 hour bug out bag or whatever an emergency pack just to grab if shit hits the fan i think you'd fit a decent amount in this and it'd be quite a handy size rather than having something that's too big and clumsy you could you know keep this in the boot of your car keep it in a cupboard by the door ready to go basically it's an in case of emergency pack that you can grab and go I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in this and want to take a look at the specs on Amazon. Uh, this isn't something I've been sent for free. You know, every now and then I do get things sent to me for free to review flashlights, radios, knives and things. But this is something I purchased myself just because I like the look of it. And I uh, thought I'd give you guys a look as well and see what you think. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.